This is your GMP Minute by Kevin Wall. The FDA is creating a new pharmaceutical quality assessment system to aid both the speed and robustness of the drug application review. The system is called Knowledge Aided Assessment and Structured Applications, or CASA for short. This video provides a high-level summary of an article published in the International Journal of Pharmaceutics. See the reference and link to the full article in the description section of this video. The article is a must-read and worth your time. If you haven't done so, subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner. Why is the FDA changing to the new review system? One, the FDA anticipates a larger number of applications with shorter timeframes as a result of PDUFA and other commitments. In addition, the FDA faced challenges on the quality of their review of the applications. They find it difficult to find historical data on a similar product, process, and facilities. Two, Risk assessment and control can be subjective and lead to inconsistency in regulatory action and risks associated with similar problems and products. Three, key elements of the quality assessment related to risk and control are not easy to find because they are buried in text. The exhaustive text provides information already given elsewhere and the assessments rely on reviewer expertise. With no databases to capture current knowledge, FDA wants to access critical information to make more objective decisions. The lack of knowledge management makes it difficult to assess risks across products and facilities. What does the new CASA system entail? CASA seeks to tabulate the following about each critical quality attribute, CQA. 1. Inherent risk to quality. 2. Control approaches using generalized descriptors. 3. A concise summary of how the control approaches were used. 4. Links to the supporting information in the application. The CASA houses foundation is the knowledge base of the product, manufacturing process, and facility. There are three pillars. One, algorithms to assess the risk to quality. These are predefined rules to assess product and manufacturing process risk. They use risk tools to assess the risk to the CQAs. Two, control of quality risk by understanding the quality of the design. The second pillar seeks to understand drug product and drug substance design, understanding, and control. Key factors are evaluated such as therapeutic index, the complexity of manufacturing, and control risk to the CQAs. The review assesses the drug product being fit for use to meet patient needs throughout the intended shelf life. The review extends to the critical material attributes, CMAs. This leads to a review of specifications to ensure clinical performance instead of process capability. Three, assessing risks associated with the manufacturing facility and planning, PAI, where needed. The final pillar assesses manufacturing process understanding and control judged by criteria long promoted by the FDA. These are one, all critical sources of common cause variability are identified and explained. Two, variability is managed by the process at all scales through the successful implementation of the control strategy. Three, process performance and quality attributes can be monitored and controlled. The manufacturing risk takes into account the status of the manufacturing and test facilities and their ability to execute the proposed process. FDA will seek to move from the current ECTD to be more streamlined and tabular with electronic data that can be mined. What are the benefits of CASA? CASA will enable regulatory submissions to be assessed in a structured manner with the capability of mining data. This goal is facilitated by standard formatting, a common vocabulary, and uniform output. CASA will enable reviewers to automatically have access to historical facility data. 
CASA risk algorithms and rules will reduce subjectivity. The electronic data can be checked for outliers in the control strategy. The CASA process will semi-automate the review process. Finally, CASA will convey residual product, manufacturing, and facility risk. When CASA is implemented, it will ensure patient safety through knowledge management, enhance risk-based approaches through established rules and algorithms, and enable life cycle management of product and facilities. What are your views on CASA? Share them in the comment section. Forward this video to a colleague who needs to know about CASA. Subscribe to this channel and click the bell notification so you don't miss a GMP Minute. International Journal of Pharmaceutics 10 FDA's New Pharmaceutical Quality Initiative Knowledge Aided Assessment and Structured Applications Lawrence XU Andre Ra, Larissa Wu, Christina Capacci Daniel, Ying Zhang, Susan Rosencrantz.